Hi, my name is David from Patterns in the Cloud, creators of the Electric Carousel plugin for WordPress. Our plugin is a full width, high res image slider with a built in lazy loader functionality, allowing you to drop in as many high resolution images as you want into a native WordPress gallery and display them beautifully on a full width page. This plugin is a full width plugin, meaning as wide as your browser is, that's how wide the carousel is going to display the photographs from your gallery as. So it's important not to use this plugin on any page layouts that include sidebars or things like that that make a full width display look strange. Uh, very easy to use our plugin. If it's already installed, you just log into WordPress into your dashboard, create a post or a page. Either one, as long as you're using a full width layout, is going to look beautiful. We'll create a new page for our purposes. And I'm going to call mine example carousel. The plugin's installed correctly. You should see a little thunderbolt right here. We're going to get back to how to use that in a second. Suffice to say, all you need to do to start creating your new electric carousel is add media to the page or the post and ultimately create a gallery. Okay, so if you already have images in your media library, you could easily create a gallery there. I'm just, for demonstration purposes, going to start from scratch and use some of our beautiful images from our friends at electricfrenchy.com to create a new electric carousel. So I'm just going to take these first ones right here, go ahead and drag them, drop them right into the upload area for WordPress. I'm going to pause while these upload. And once they've all been uploaded, I want to create a gallery. Since I just uploaded these images, they're all pre-selected. If I wanted to, of course, I could add more images to the gallery. And I can do that later as well. So I'll just go ahead and create a new gallery. Okay. If I added captions, they wouldn't show up because of the layout of the electric carousel. Um, so you can go ahead and add them, but keep in mind they're not going to display anywhere in the electric carousel slider. You can go ahead and reorder images here if you want, add or remove images, just like you would any gallery in WordPress. I'm fine with how mine looks right now, so I'm going to go ahead and hit insert gallery. Okay, so just as you'd expect, you'd have this little gallery object here. To turn this into an electric carousel, all you do is click on the gallery, hover over the little thunderbolt, click it. It's going to drop this shortcode in here, electric carousel, and the closing shortcode here. And you'll see the gallery IDs are exposed. Uh, if you wanted to view them in the text editor, it looks exactly the same. In the visual editor, when you click back, you see you can click right back into the gallery management again to reorder or add more images to the gallery. All right, I also want to show you that you can add content around the short codes. Um, it's going to play very nicely for any type of content authoring you want to do. So I'll just add some quick content right here. And I just want to show you that you can add content around these short codes, add formatting to that content just as you'd want to in, in any WordPress post or page that you created and it's going to play very nicely with the plugin. So I'll go ahead and turn that into a heading. I'll take this text down here and turn this into a, a bold link. Um, again, to our friends over at electricfrenchy.com. Thank you, ladies, for lending us these beautiful images for our plugin. Okay. And once I'm done, I'll just go ahead and publish. Once the page is published, I can view it to see my shiny new electric carousel and the content that I've added around those short codes. Okay, so you see that the H1 content that I added above it is just fine there and the image or the images courtesy of text I've added below in the link just as we'd expect. Now if you notice right here um, we've got some images that aren't the same height as the others so it's important to point out that the carousel function will center the images no matter what height they are but if you want a really smooth, seamless presentation like we have over here, you just want to make sure to edit your images accordingly before you upload them and make them all the same height that you want. It's going to center them, whether they're wide or tall on the page. As you can see, we've got some tall images side by side here. As we scroll through, they pop right into the center. Um, but say we want to go ahead and manage our gallery and get rid of these ones that aren't the same height, maybe so we can come back and add them later after we've edited them to the same height. We just need to edit the page. Go ahead and click on the gallery just as we would expect to um, on any kind of WordPress poster page. Click on the little icon to manage the gallery. 
and let's say I just want to get rid of those images that were you know, too too uh, short to look good in our gallery. Go ahead and remove them, update the gallery. I could also rearrange some images that I want. So say I want to pull these images here um, into a slightly different order. Say I want them maybe right after the first two. Once I update the gallery, you're going to notice that that new organization is reflected in our updated carousel. All right, so once I've updated the page, I'll go ahead and view so I can see my changes. All right, and you'll see that the new order is there. And because they are all the same height, we've got this nice, seamless, infinite slider to look at. All right, that's all. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, support at patternsinthecloud.com, and we'll include some helpful links about where to buy our plugin and where to get additional details uh, in the comments down below. Thank you very much.